Cancer, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? You've reached Southern Intuition, and this is your love and relationship read for Stupid Heart Day. <laughs> it is a general reading, so it may or it may not resonate for everyone, Cancer, but I believe everything connects eventually, so if it's your message to hear, you'll do so, and then please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, the Page of Cups just come out. Interesting. Page of Cups in reversed. The Hanged Man. Okay, you're sick of waiting on something. You've been waiting and you're sick of waiting to express yourself in a situation. That's what I'm getting. All right, so we're going to pull three shuffles here. Tired of waiting to express yourself. I don't know. You got something you want to say? You got something you want to do? <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, definitely something you want to say. I'm getting all choked up here. Dang. Wow. Uh -huh. Could be some sort of pain. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Cancer, look at you. Looking for love. In all the wrong places. <laughs> Looking for love in too many faces. Searching for hearts. Very interesting. Oh, Seven of Swords. Ooh. Doggy, I think it's so cool that that page of cups came back out to say, hello, I have something to say. And you do. Um, somebody's extending a peace offering here. Uh, somebody's got something they want to say. There is a message here. Um, it's definitely an opportunity you never expected. But whatever this path is, it's definitely leading you to a good way of life uh, where you're going to be satisfied. Um, could be learning something new. Um, but yeah, definitely conditions are favorable for, for love here. However, your person, the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. Well, you know, this page, he like goes from one thing to the next, you know, whatever excites him. Um, he's very confident. He's got a unique outlook on life and people love that about him. He's very loving and he's giving and he enjoys passion and sensuality. He also knows that there's plenty of fish in the sea. You know, he's, he's ready. He wants to explore love and wherever love could take him or he's just really excited and he, he wants to express himself. And it could be small ways, you know, it could be a little bit of, eh, nah, 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 you know, but, uh, they're definitely somebody that's worked hard. Um, they've conducted their own like business of some sort. Um, but they, uh, they might be feeling like they need to take a break from love. Like, they just need to cut their losses. Maybe somebody has bailed on them. Maybe you did. Um, and they're just, like, ready to cut their losses and just kind of recuperate from whatever the situation is. Like, they, whatever they was putting effort into, it doesn't seem like it's really went their way. But it's not stopping them from still working hard to achieve something. Um, but they could be kind of selfish. Um... They could be a little bit stingy with how they give um, towards you in this uh, situation. Interesting. I just realized. Um, I just realized something here. And I don't know if I should keep it like that. I just, I guess I will. I guess I will, because I'm seeing you, their inner thoughts about you as they are coming towards you. Your inner thoughts is you're holding back uh, the moon energy here. 
you're holding back how you feel. Um, they know to experience a rock solid relationship that they just got to go for it. They just got to go, go do it. Let's go. They want to do it. They're, they're, they're being even minded. They're being fair and they're being very calm, cool, collected when dealing, um, with you. But now you, you're frustrated here. You're kind of frustrated. You're impatient because you're not getting your way. Um, it might be time to own up and, uh, to your own behavior cancer um i mean you might not might be like oh i can't believe how i've been treated you could feel wronged and hurt but remind yourself you know you are worthwhile here and there's plenty of fish in the sea both of these cards are like oh wow there, there's there's there is other people there's life out there you know there's life out there and so much that you might not learned um, like your luck might have not been the greatest in relationships, but that's, that's definitely changing soon. Okay. Somebody you're being met with this opportunity that you didn't expect. Um, like you could have felt like you were stalled and it kind of made you feel a little bit bitter, but again, it's, it's going to change. Uh, you do have a queen of swords here that's challenging you. She could be someone that's a little bit distant. Um, and that could, she might withdraw from you, you know. She's very smart, but she kind of takes the high road. Um, she just, she might even be a little cruel, man. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I see. Um, but she's just kind of looking out for herself. She's like that single mom energy. She's, she's got everything that she needs. Um, and most of her needs are met, but she also has no fear you know have you ever met an individual like had no fear of dying or death or just no fear at all like their their aura is extreme you know they they just have a confidence in them that's like oh wow i mean i want i want you i want to get to know you and I, that's what i'm gathering from this devil energy i see this as someone that you are uh lusting after very much so but it could be that it's a little bit toxic um, I don't know. It, it could also be, it's been a rocky road, you know, and, and you're really trying to stabilize the situation, even finding yourself being a less, a little bit less defensive about the direction that it might take. I just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just like a, a, a small, like going for it seems to be the issue. Like there's the potential for passion here. Most definitely. Um, but the fool is like holding himself back. He's, he wants to, he definitely wants to go for it, but he's like, I, da, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, I mean, the fool doesn't really take stock of things, but this guy is, um, your outcome is personal mistakes that you made are going to kind of come to your attention. So you're going to feel compelled to really take responsibility, to face the music for your own actions. And these lessons that you learn, you know, will allow you to really stop bad habits, uh, to take better action. You know, wanting to right your wrongs, to make amends here. Definitely maybe like looking into the past, like, oh, where things were different. Um, and you're, you're going to want to find a way to recapture what is being lost here there's definitely just a sense of taking responsibility for how you feel so oh religious factors your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing spiritual path which is a card of marriage um interesting um so definitely society is uh blocking your way here cancer but you need to decide what the hell it is that you want very soon so that it comes to you. Because somebody's coming in here. Um, and getting to know this person could lead to some very um, open-ended things. I gotta clarify the devil just to... Whoa, okay. Yeah, look, there's, there's something hidden here. <laughs> There's hidden emotions here. And you're holding back. because And it's difficult. It's difficult here. But look. 
nine of cups, ace of cups. It's coming out. Whatever it is, whatever it is you want to do to express yourself here or them, it's coming. This, look, the hottest love has the coldest end. Follow your heart's desire to manifest the heck out of your life. And the more loving care you give to yourself, the more love you have to give to others. Somebody's uh, got something that they want to say here. Yeah. Let things come and go and stay calm. And don't let anything disturb your inner peace. Carry on. Fall in love when you're ready. Not when you're lonely. If you feel guilty, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, Peter Pan's that boy who refused to grow up, you know, he, you might be able to relate to that. There's definitely something youthful here about that I'm, I'm gathering from all of this, and I think you're a little bit dissatisfied with the current status quo, um, and you, you could feel like you're getting pressure from others to be more responsible and... Your behavior that you're doing might be even a form of escape here. And, of course, there's a time and a place for being free. So, recognize the need for your behavior here. Let go of uh, grief. Your grief over something that just might not feel as once good as, once it, as it once did. You deserve love, Cancer. You are lovable. So good luck with that.